everybody. Okay, today's video, obviously, from what you can read down there, da, 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 okay, is like villain movie failures, okay? And these are things that I've noticed, that you've noticed, and, you know, like, if you're one of those people that ever, like, had that, like, movie where you were just like, I kind of want the bad guy to win, or the good guy sucks, or, like, the bad guy's got a good point, like, this shit should probably be done. Like, you know, if you ever get to that, like, one movie where you're just like, I really wish the good guy just lost. Like, I don't like him. I hate the good guy. Like, I want the, the bad guy to win. And it, like, never happens. I think I've seen, like, one movie, maybe, where the bad guy actually successfully won or something. But then there was, like, you know, like, stipulations, like, the good guy was going to come back and get him or something for, like, a sequel or something like that. So, anyways, I, I really don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I've seen something similar like that. So... Here we go, I'm just going to start off with, okay, the bad guy explaining his plot, okay, before it happens, okay, and usually the bad guy says, this is my plot, this is how it's going to happen, and it's going to happen on X date, so you're just giving the good guy and every other good guy out there, like, ample time to figure out, like, what's going on, how to stop you, you know, in, in a period of time, like, you're even giving them, like, a period of time, like, even up to, like, a week in some instances, or even, like, a few days, like, if, if you were to even just, you know, I don't like, like, giving the plot out, but even if you were just, like, you know, um, something horrible is going to happen, like, within the next hour, like, that's not enough time, that is not enough time, so everyone's going to panic for that hour, and then, bam, bad stuff happens, so, like, just, these bad guys just need to, like, stop explaining their story. I think just think it's stupid. You're you're telling your plot. You're telling how it's going to be done. And you're just giving them ample time to figure out how to stop you. Like, if you were a bad guy in a movie and you were just like, hey, bad stuff's going to happen soon. You, people don't know how much time that is. Soon could be, like, an hour from now. Soon could be, like, you know, three days from now. Soon could be, like, three months down the road when it's unexpected to happen. Like, what about that bad guy? I want that bad guy. I want that bad guy to, like, turn chaos and, you know, have people freaking out, thinking something's going to happen, like, within a week. And actually, he waits till, like, like a three months down the line. He waits till that three months down the line when everyone just is calmed after the storm and thinks everything's fine. And then he just, like, wipes them all out. Like, that would be a good idea. Okay? Just psych everybody out. So... Um, the second thing on my list is when the bad guy finally catches the good guy, okay, and he has him, like, you know, tied up or whatever, and he just talks for, like, ten minutes about how he's going to kill the good guy and how much he's wanted to do this. Now, the good guy, who's, you know, chances are, like, hands tied behind his back in most instances, the good guy is, like, looking around, trying to figure out how to escape from this situation. And the bad guy's just, ha, 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 there's no escaping. But there's, like, always a way to escape, usually, in these movies. So the good guy's just, like, looking around. He's like, okay, I'm going to use that rope over there with that, like, you know, um, ball-peen hammer for some reason. And, you know, MacGyver my way out of this. Okay, so bad guys, like, if you got the good guy, just, just kill him right then and there. Be like, you know, do you have any last words? And it's just as soon as the good guy starts to say something, pow, you're killing him. Like, you chop off his head or you shoot him or you stab him or something. Okay, and when you're, like, killing the good guy, okay, I see this happen too often. They kill the good guy, and they, like, just shoot him a bunch of times or whatever, okay? And then the bad, the good guy somehow, like, makes it alive. He comes back to life, okay? So how about this, okay? A bad guy kills a good guy, chops off his head, okay? There is no coming back from that. I don't care what movie you're in. There is no coming back from your head getting chopped off, okay? So, yeah. Like, bad guy, just just do it. Just get it done and over. Because, you know what? That'd be a great thing for a movie, too. Because, like, all movies is where the good guy, like, escapes. So, like, you know, have a bad guy, like, just straight up, like, kill the good guy. And, like, he's dead. Like, that's it. Like, they have the funeral and put him in the ground and everything. And then, like, maybe his friends, like, try to honor his death or something. Like, you know, that would catch people off guard. People would be like, like, jaws dropped that they actually killed, like, the main character good guy, okay? All I'm saying, it's an idea, maybe go for it, it'd be cool, okay? Um, 
third on my list is that, you know, the bad guy always has some sort of like vendetta against the good guy. Okay, you know, and, you know, that's usually like based on, you know, the storyline, it kind of builds up to it and stuff. So like, you know, the bad guy wants to like do something to ruin the good guy's life before he actually kills him. Usually this involves like killing his girlfriend or wife or kids or something like that. Now, I am not for like any like, um, like kids dying in movies, just horrible. Okay, just like when an animal dies in a movie, you're just like animals and babies should, you know, kids should not die in movies. Okay, and even chicks, like, if she didn't do anything wrong in the movie, like, she shouldn't have to die just because her, like, husband or boyfriend is, you know, like, a hero or whatever. She shouldn't have to die. But if, like, a chick's, like, a total bitch and deserves it, or she's, like, been that whiny chick throughout the whole movie that you're just, like, she needs to die. Like, that's different. But instead of, like, like ruining the hero's life that way by just, like, straight up killing them, okay, how about this? How about you, like, like, I don't know, think, like, like, blackmailing, like, so that his family leaves him. Because, I mean, it's horrible to have, you know, your family die, but, like, to have them, like, think you're a bad person and leave you, like, I, that's, like, almost worse because it's, like, you had them and now they left you and they don't want anything to do with you. They're still around and they just don't want to be around you. So, like, I'm talking, like, I don't know, blackmail the good guy with, like, you know, um, like, drugs at his job or something, or, you know, uh, drugs in his system, or, like, that he had an affair, like, set up some sort of blackmail like that, that way, like, his wife leaves him because she thinks he's having an affair, and, you know, his job fires him because, you know, he had, like, drugs in his system or whatever, you know, do things like that to, like, just slowly make his life fall apart, and don't tell him before you do it bad guys don't tell the good guy that you're going to ruin his life just do it subconsciously and then when you find the good guy again he's like super down and out and he doesn't have his job and he doesn't have his family and then the bad guy comes out and be like ha, 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 i did it all you know and just let him like marinate in that misery for like a few weeks and you know then the bad guy comes and he's like i did it all if none of that actually happened i just blackmailed you and now i'm going to kill you Okay, that would just be the way I would do it if I was, like, in a movie and I was the bad guy. Like, that's what I would do to the good guy. I would just make his life miserable, you know, like that. So, um, okay, number um, number four, right? Yeah, that's number four. Okay, number four on my list is, like, um, and this kind of goes with, like, what I said before with, like, exposing the plan. But this is more specifically, like, the bad guy tells the good guy, I'm coming for you okay the bad guy's like i'm coming for you and there's nothing you can do so you know you won't expect it but you just told him that you're coming for him so he's gonna expect it now so he's gonna take extra precautions he's gonna be looking left and right everywhere he goes okay why would you do that why would you let him know to, that he better be extra careful because you're gonna come and get him don't tell him just do it just do it. All these bad guys feel like they have to, like, announce what they're about to do. You don't have to do that. You can just do it, okay? Bad guys in movies, I hate it. It just seems like they're stupid. And, like, you know, like, a lot of bad guys in movies are, like, actually, like, smart. And everything's, like, well played out. But then when they, like, do it, they do it, like, stupidly, okay? Like, they may be smart in one aspect, but then, like, common sense to, like, not expose your plan they just don't have that, and that bothers me. So, um, okay, um, I'm just gonna make a comparison here of when, like, I think the bad guy should win, okay? And, okay, this is like the X-Men movie, okay? That's a scenario where, like, you know, the bad guy should have won, okay? And I'm not talking about, like, the government bad guys that were, you know, like, trying to eradicate the X-Men. I'm talking about, like, the bad guys, like, Magneto. Like, okay, all he wanted to do, first off, like, if you've seen, like, the original, like, the X-Men Origins, like, he has reason to be pissed off about people, okay, because of what that happened. He shouldn't blame other people, but, you know, people were, you know, horrible to all these mutants. And to be honest, I would love to be a mutant. I would rather be the mutant being, like, you know, chastised by other people, okay? Um, I would rather be like that because, you know, I can, like, pull pranks on you, okay? I can, like, 
make your life miserable. You want to pick on me? I will do that. Okay. I will get back at you. But like, okay. You know, all the other like X-Men, they're like, oh, we can't, you know, um, we can't, you know, let you guys turn everybody into mutants. You know, we have to protect the people. Well, the people are assholes and they hate you. Okay. How does, how does that make sense? If the people could, they would kill you. They would kill every last one of you mutants. Yet, you know, you're going to just just protect these horrible people. Like, you know, even like when uh, certain situations, you know, where the, the government and what have you is like, you know, working on experiments to like hurt the mutants or like eradicate them. And the X-Men are like, oh, we got to protect these people that are trying to quote unquote cure us, but most likely kill us. And Magneto's like, no, screw these people. They want to eradicate us. So, you know, instead of just eradicating the human race, we're going to turn them all into mutants, too. So we're one big, happy freaking family. Who wouldn't want superpowers? Tell me. Tell me. Who wouldn't want superpowers? Like, why, there should have been, like, a study in that movie, you know, where Magneto made a study just to make a point of, like, how many people would appreciate having superpowers. Because, honestly, okay, maybe everyone was prudes. Every human was a prude in that movie. But, like... If you ask people in the real world, hey, you know, would you like to have a superpower? And what superpower would that be? I guarantee you, like, 95% of the, the population is going to be like, yes, yes, I want a superpower. You know, I just, I want to, you know, shoot fire out of my hands or fly or, you know, uh, be able to turn invisible or, like, whatever. We all would love superpowers, okay? So, I don't know. Like, why that was such a bad thing? Why was it a bad thing that he wanted to turn all the humans into mutants? It wasn't like he wanted to, you know, kill them all. I mean, like, you know, later in the movie, he, you know, in the movie series, like, he did. But, like, at one point, he just wanted to turn, you know, when he was, like, using Rogue or whatever, he just wanted to turn every human into a mutant. What's the big deal with that? That's better than killing them. That was his first option. And then the X-Men, like, stopped him. So he was like, all right, fine. You know, I wanted to help all these people out and give them some cool superpowers. But, you know, you want to fight against me. So guess what? I'm going to kill them now. Like, I think that's kind of on the X-Men team. Like, you did that. If you just, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, the good guys will and all this shit. But, you know, you provoked it. They were just going to turn everybody just like them. You know? So everybody was, quote, unquote, normal. <laughs> okay? But now, now, you just, you had to be all, like, super high and mighty. And that's, I guess, what I can't stand about, like, you know, the heroes in movies is they have this, like, sense of, like, pride, the sense of, like, you know, um, I'm super humble and I care for everybody, even my enemies. Like, if their enemy, like, in some movie, their enemy is, like, holding onto a ledge and they're, like, about to fall into their death and this enemy, like, tried to kill them, like, multiple times the hero's like i gotta save him you know i can't just let him die you know he'll spend the rest of his life in prison for what he's done so we can learn his you know learn what he's done and no because if you're a psychopathic bad guy you're not gonna learn you're not gonna change all you're gonna be doing in there is contemplating how to escape and get back at the good guy and kill him successfully Okay, so, like, good guys, quit being so high and freaking mighty. Like, because you're going to end up killing the black, uh, bad guy anyway. So, why try to act like you, you know, you care about him and all this, and you're all humble and shit? If you're going to kill him anyways, I'm sick of this whole, like, I'm high and mighty, like, the bullshit. No, because you're still killing people. So, yeah. That is my super long rant on, um, villain movie failures. Like, please. Somebody in Hollywood, come up with a movie where the bad guy wins. Please? Please? I would love that. That would be awesome, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone. So, until next time, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, put them below. Da-da-da-da-da. Bye!